for girls that reads, I'm too pretty to do my homework. There it is. So my brother has to do it for me. Mm -hmm. When social activist Lauren Todd heard about it, she started a petition online. And within a day, actually even a little bit less than a day, JCPenney pulled that shirt from its website and apologized. Lauren Todd is here with us this morning, along with Shelby Knox, who's women's rights director at change.org, uh, and helped to spread the news. Good to have both of you with us this morning. Boy, talk about Thank igniting you. a firestorm. You certainly got a lot of people up in arms. And, and you look at the T-shirt, and it's understandable to see why. Lauren, how did it first come to your attention? Um, I actually saw it posted on Facebook. A friend of mine posted it with a little snarky comment, and uh, it was one of those things where it was just kind of, it, it was outrageous enough to be posted on Facebook, but it was actually more outrageous than that, and I felt like I needed to do something about it. So you started to do something, and then Shelby, you swooped in and, and really helped her and helped to get the word out here. Absolutely. She started a change.org petition, which anyone can do um, on anything you care about, and I saw it. I put it on our front page, and I love Twitter, so I started tweeting at feminist bloggers, education bloggers, parent bloggers, asking them to retweet it and use JCPenney's handle so they would see it, and then we started asking them to post on JCPenney's Facebook page. And so a lot of posts started appearing saying, what is this? This is sexist and outrageous. Please take it down. And here, here, are, some of the, here are some of the responses. Sarah tweeted, hey, JCPenney, this shirt is insulting and offensive. Stop perpetuating negative and harmful stereotypes. You can sum, sum up the feelings in 140 characters for this one very well. Uh, on JCPenney's Facebook page, there was this post. Shame on you, JCPenney. Is this really the message you want to instill in young women? My daughters and I will spend our money elsewhere if you continue to market such nonsense. This had a huge impact. You had, what, 1,600 signatures in, in four hours? Yes. Yeah. And so then JCPenney comes, comes out. And, and when you saw the response, Lauren, were you, were, you, were you happy with this? What you expected? Uh, I actually, when I started the petition, my thought was, well, I'll get some backup. You know, maybe get some other consumer. This is how capitalism is supposed to work. Um, consumers are supposed to get together and tell corporations when they're unhappy with what they're doing and use their own money to do that. So that's why I started the petition. It was crazy how fast everything happened. Yeah. I was floored. They, um, and here is their response. In part, it reads, we agree the Too Pretty t-shirt does not deliver an appropriate message, and we have immediately discontinued its sale. They went on to say they uh, do not intend to offend their customers and that they apologize to their customers. Is this ultimately, Shelby, what you were hoping would happen? Absolutely. This is how it works. Um, you know, corporations have found out very quickly that if they are going to be on these two-way communicative medias like Facebook and Twitter, they can't just talk at their customers. They have to listen to them and respond. What's really, really cool about this situation is one person, Lauren, was able to start a change.org petition and empower thousands of other people to push back on JCPenney's and say, nope, sexism doesn't sell. We're not buying it. It's amazing the impact that social media has these days. Absolutely. Absolutely amazing. Well, and we'll continue yeah. to have, I think, um, because because companies are really protective of their online brands for this reason. Yeah, and because it can so easily be tarnished if they don't handle it correctly. Great to have both of you with us this morning. Shelby Knox, Lauren Todd, nice work. Thank, thank you. you. As a parent, as a woman, I say thank you. <laughs> Jan, over to you. Well, parents have been trying forever to get their kids to eat healthy